In this lesson, we're gonna learn the pull off, literally the opposite of the hammer on. In guitar tabs, it's usually written like this. So if we're using the same thing we started with in the previous video, we hammered on from the fifth fret to the seventh. Well now, we're gonna pull off. So in this case, if you look at the tabs, it says we're pulling off from the seventh to the fifth fret. So which means we're gonna have a finger in the seventh fret and a finger in the fifth fret to make sure that there's a sound when we pull off our finger. So my right hand is gonna play that fifth string and then my, my third finger is gonna like flick itself off. Like basically kind of pluck the string as it pulls itself off. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. So playing that seventh fret. Pull it off, kind of flick it. Try with the sixth string, right hand plays the sixth string. Notice how my finger kind of flicks it. You still might get the sound out if you don't flick it and you just take it off, but it's not gonna be as strong. See, I'm, I'm not flicking it now, but now I am. No, I'm not. It's just quieter. So you wanna to try to learn how to flick it. It's like your finger grabs a hold of it and flicks it off. So you can see what both of my hands are doing. And you don't even have to do it right away, you can just go. You can use any finger. I'm just using the A minor pentatonic scale because we're gonna eventually use this to freestyle with all of these, but. The hardest thing about this is with flicking off your finger and not accidentally hitting other strings. So when we, d we can do the pull off, just, just for practice, um, all the way down the first position, we just need to put both fingers on bef at at once before we start. So starting on the first string, cause we go from the highest to the lowest. So doing it really slow, put both on, both on. And you can just do that over and over again to practice that pull off or just do it wherever. You can even do it like uh, I did in the previous video, practicing wherever. Or even, you know, just on the, just finger one. Whatever you wanna do. So you can practice the pulling off anywhere on the fretboard with any finger, and it's actually good to do it with multiple fingers because you never know when your finger is gonna need to know how to do that. Especially when you're playing certain solos or even freestyling, your mind might just be like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna do it like that. So play around with that and then we'll get into the next trick in the next lesson.